What's up? This is Angelo Ferrer, host of the Social Jello with Angelo podcast and head coach over at Level Up Gym, Kajikembo Yoga Japan. And today we're going to be talking about two things. So the video is titled Digging with Shovel Hooks. Before we get started, we need to talk a little bit about this guy. Bam! Movie magic. So, <laughs> so we need to talk a little bit about Jack Dempsey. Um, Jack Dempsey was a professional boxer back in the day, early 1900s, and he had something called the Dempsey Roll. It's an awesome move for boxing. It's where you roll down and you dig in. He talks about it in his book. If you haven't picked it up, Championship Fighting. I'm not advertising anything here. He's long dead and gone. <laughs> so, so, you know, promoting his book does nothing for me, but it does a lot for you. I would check it out. I would check out this book if you don't, if you've never really seen like boxing fundamentals, he does a great job of breaking it down. But I digress. Going back to the title of this video, I said I was going to talk about two things. One, I'm going to talk about the shovel hook and doing the Dempsey roll. But I didn't title this video the Dempsey roll for a very good reason, because point number two, I want to talk about why you shouldn't be rolling like a boxer in MMA. And this is why. Check out this clip. So, as you see, you start rolling, you start ducking, and now your head in boxing is great, right? If I'm up here and I'm boxing and I'm rolling deep right here, coming down really low, the boxer has a hard time, he might get me with an uppercut. But in MMA, I have to worry about knees. I have to worry about kicks. And when I start bringing my head down, someone who's not very good at kicking, really can't even do a head kick. Most people can kick at least to their hips. I'm bringing my head right into their kicks. This is why I don't particularly like boxing, rolling for MMA. And I know I'm about to piss off a lot of boxing coaches. I'm sorry if that's what you're teaching. I'm not trying to say you're doing it wrong. I'm just saying there's, there's another way that I prefer to do it. Maybe it works out for you. But for you people that are interested in doing MMA, make sure your boxing coach understands and does MMA. You don't just want to go to a random boxing coach. That's going to be a topic for a completely different video. And you didn't watch this video to watch me ramble on about techniques. You want to see what I'm talking about? Let's get started. So here we are. We're going to do our my version of the Dempsey roll. So what you want to do is you want to bring your head down, but you don't want to bring it down the way he explained in his book here. That's too low, you're going to get kicked in the head. Point one, keep your hands up. We don't want to roll our hands down, that's how we get kicked and hit in the head. Keep your hands up as you roll. Point two, the actual shovel hook. As you come down under an opponent's technique and you're doing your practicing, your head movement coming up and down and up and down, swiveling with the feet, turning the feet, swiveling the feet, turning the feet, right? As I'm doing this stuff, I come up for a hook. My regular hook, and I don't want to get into a long topic about what a hook is, because that's a total other hot topic for any boxing coach. But for on average, the hook is going to come straight, right? Fully attached, not swimming with the arm. It's not a hook video. It's not a hook instructional. It's about the shovel hook. But a regular hook is going to turn this way. A shovel hook literally looks like a shovel. Imagine like you're digging. You're digging up. And it almost looks like an uppercut, but it's not. Because an uppercut would be right here, straight. There's a few versions of an uppercut. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. There's different uppercuts. This is not an uppercut, because again, for the uppercut, I'm coming up here, I'm loading, and I'm coming up here, right? But a shovel hook, I'm almost making the hook movement, but I'm still kind of, it's like in between an uppercut and a hook. It's like that in between right there. There's my shovel hook. Here's my shovel hook, as opposed to an uppercut or a hook. So I'm going to come down and shovel hook, shovel hook, shovel hook. Some points that... Dempsey points on is how you can create momentum and energy by turning the hips in for each hit. So you want to do this slow because you don't want to end up with both hands down. 
But you come in here, one hand down, one hand up, one hand down, one hand up, and you can work different angles. So as you come in, you're swiveling, and you're kind of shuffling with your feet as you come into different angles on your opponent. And you're gonna hit high, you can do a high, low, high, high, low. And you can kind of count it out between four and six, or three and five, however, numbers, you can go one, two, three, four, or you can come in and one, two, three, four, five, high, low, high, low. On the timing bag, it's harder than low, I do all highs. One, two, three, four, all high. I just mentioned the bags, and let's see what this looks like on the bag. All right, so here I am at the bag. I am softball, that doesn't matter for this technique. If you're regular, just switch your feet and go through what I just talked about. So you're here. I'm going to come down, always mimic as if the opponent is throwing some sort of lunging attack, like a jab straight, and I'm gonna come down here. In boxing, you can come down lower, but again, in MMA, I come down here, I get kicked in the head. Very possible, even if I had my hands up, blocking a full kick to the head, even with your hands up with MMA glove hurts. I want to avoid that. So my head level of my opponent's here, I get off head level, centered here. And then I come up to my shovel hook here. Right? Once I start the momentum, boom. I come in down, boom, 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 boom. I'm doing this slow so you can watch the mechanics. Again, I roll, I start the enemy version of the Dempsey roll here, and as I come up, I shovel hook, shovel hook, body, head, head, body. It doesn't really matter which combination you choose, practice one that you favor. Again, you get out of the way, bam, bam, boom, boom. It can end on either side, it can end with a, it can end with a lead or it can end with a rear. That part doesn't matter. We're just really working that we don't go too low, we keep our hands up, and I get out of the line of fire. Notice my bag is here, and I'm here. My shoulder is up, my chin is tucked in, and I'm going one, two, three, four, five, or whatever number I choose. All right, and that's it. Make sure you're really digging with that bag, as you saw, using your feet, pivoting the feet and the turns, like I mentioned earlier in the video, to generate more power. Now, if you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Hit like and subscribe for more videos about martial arts, MMA, Kaju Kembo, and a podcast that talks about psychology, using the psychological perspective, to get to know martial artists and their journeys, how they got to where they're at. Thanks again. Hey, you wanna fire off in the comments section of YouTube about why I'm wrong or why you think you're right? or whatever you want, jump on in. I'm more than happy to check it out and discuss with you. Or if you want to be on the show, hit me up for that too. I'd more than love to hear your perspective on this. Catch you all later. Peace.